What's up, y'all? I know I said that I probably wouldn't do the video, but I am still up studying and putting my new uniform together. So taking the shit off my old one, putting it on the other one. You know, this will happen when you start getting sold on the chest and shit. Gotta go spend money buying another motherfucking uniform. But since I'm doing this and I got the, and I'm watching Love Hip Hop right now, why not try to do a review? You know, multitask and shit. So Papoose is uh drawing himself into his work. This time it's his music. Uh, shooting a music video, his mom and daughter pop up. Long story short, they're telling him, we know you hold shit in. Rather than do this and drown yourself in work, you actually need to deal with the issue, which I know that shit all too well, because I do shit like that. I check the fuck out, but I tend to drown myself in work. So, and it's almost kind of how, like, Dr. Jackie off of, you know, where it's a medicine does, where she does have her online issue, but rather than deal with it, she just works herself into exhaustion. So by the time she get home, rather than think about it, she just go straight to sleep. Look, you know, compare and contrast. So we got the creep squad. Again, long story short, Peter tells Cell that he needs to, you know, talk with Chris Gold and they need to talk the shit out. Now, Snoop pretty much is coming at them with their fucking bromance and go so far to say that you know they need to figure that bromance shit they got going on out in addition to that um you know they low budget creep she high price i think they about failed the fuck out like just literally sat there and read their ass in less than a minute the shit was hilarious now we in mexico now uh j.a J. adrian j.a kimbella and juju they are they arrive as a group Yandy walks up with Bianca now, of course, uh, I forget exactly why, but Juju is feeling some kind of ways about that, and Kimbella's feeling some kind of way because of the simple fact that, okay, you bring a work with you to Mexico, so I hope you're doing the same as that thing for my man, those who have their um, back and forth, Kimbella spills the beans that, well, you know, Juju told me about you being bad about me bringing this up and this, that, and the third. So now you ain't even some kind of way because that is a conversation that should have stayed between them. We'll talk about that more later. And her whole, and you know, they're just going back and forth between, you know, this and the that. I ain't going to get into it, but they, they doing a whole lot of back and forth and shit. Right. <clears throat> All right. So Bianca invites Cardi B. Cardi B invites um, Mariah Lynn and her sister. Now, of course, Bianca Mariah Lynn, they didn't fill out. So, Cardi B holding it. Look, this is what the fuck I do. Y'all patch this shit the fuck up. So, she leaves in there. They patch it up. That's it. It's done. All right. I mean, nothing more to say about that. And then we have um, Pat Pusa Remy. I didn't really write anything down, but. Of course, you know, he's depressed about the situation, so is she. She, uh, you know, just kind of feel down the dumps that she made a promise to her husband, was not able to fulfill it, and feels that had she, you know, given him the baby when he initially asked, maybe they wouldn't be in this situation. And he just feels that, you know what, it would make me feel so much better if you don't blame yourself for this. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to stay for you with it, and we're going to do what we got to do. Now I'm going to promise that brother. All right, so what happens is the girls pretty much somewhat do a split. Y'all, I'm trying to get this damn number two to be centered on this damn ribbon. This shit going to be looking, I hope it don't be looking raggedy as fuck tomorrow. Real talk, I hope they don't be looking that damn hard at it. If they do, well, fuck, I'm just, I'm just, fuck, all right, not really fuck. All right, but <clears throat> the girls decide to go to a club. When I say the girls, I mean Mariah Lynn, Cardi B, her sister, and Bianca, they all decide to go to the club. It's one of those where, you know, hey, uh, Bianca been doing all her work and whatnot, you know, so it's time to turn up, which, you know, I do understand that shit. You know, you work, you work, you work, and then, you know, hey, every now and then, we'll have a little bit of fun. Now, Yandy, <clears throat> you know, has her issue with Kimbella or whatnot, so she decides that she wants to, you know, go to a club. Now, unless the club they went to is either, A, the only club in Mexico where they're at, or probably the most poppinest fucking club. I don't see. Man, that shit look kind of crazy, but I'm, I'm gonna try to make this damn thing work. I don't see how they all just ended up at the same motherfucking, uh, you know, place. You feel what I'm saying? Production. I know, but I'm just saying. So, Jay Adrian is with um, Yandy, and 
Yandy mentions how um J. Adrian mentions how that girl that looked like Bianca. Yandy looks, she go over there, they talk about it, long story short. They fucking resolve the shit. I swear this seems like if this ain't the reunion, like we are I'm not if this ain't the season finale, we're so close to it. It seems like they wrapping all this shit up. It really does look like it. And that's pretty much it. The only thing I didn't mention is Joel's at home with the kids, but I will say this for him to be so fucking pissed about him not spending time on her, this, that, and the third. You damn sure take a fucking trip to lead him to his own devices, though he may be with the kids. Come on now. We all know kids gotta sleep, and they're none of them are babies. So it's not like they're not all somewhat synced on the same damn um sleep schedule. So okay. Am I the only one to call that? <clears throat> okay, so the girls are getting ready to have this brunch. You have the main, I guess we could say, tribe, if you will, Juju Kimbella, Yandy. Yandy Kimbella pretty much has to shit out, long story short. I somewhat understood where Kimbella was coming from when it comes to those two, or when she talks to Yandy. Yandy, when I'm talking to you, you are not listening to comprehend and understand what I'm saying. You're listening with the intent of just answering because you think you know what I want to say. Again, they good, good friends, so of course, when you good, good friends with somebody, y'all y'all patch it up so the shit done over with. There's still some residual shit there, but it is what the fuck it is. The rest of the girls come. They mention how they felt there was a little bit of shade. They say it wasn't no shade, but that Bianca need to work. And Carby is like, well, shit, I'm a fucking artist too, but I can't be all work, you know, and not have a fucking release because shit just won't be right. And she fucking right. That's it. Woo over to the motherfucking Creed Squad minus Snoop and... Self whole thing was get um Crisco to drive over his favorite vehicle and then he was gonna go ahead and um uh, you know do tag it the way that he felt the tag it. So he brought on that property of Gwinnon and he come out now. Let's keep this all the way to fuck one hundred. This scene was contrived, all right? But we won't finish talking about it. So Crisco begins to undo his uh, uh his uh jacket, take it off to charge itself. They kind of do a ring around the car thing, and he walks off. He's like, "Look, man, look, man, it was fake. It was fake. Don't you see that it was fake?" That was pretty much the end of that. And then what happened soon thereafter is um, Crisco whole thing is look, I did some shit to all y'all. Can you know we all just get along and just bury the hatchet. And then this motherfucker decided he wanted to go, you know, Cree Squad second, you know, Pentecostal, you know, round about Jesus, St. Mary, you know, filled with the Holy Ghost, Baptist Church, talking about, and hey, are you your brother's keeper? <laughs> and are you your brother's keeper? <laughs> I'm just looking at him like, he, okay, bro, you over animated. I put 20 on scene just now, but he was so fucking extra. I didn't understand why. I didn't. And the reason that you know this shit was fake, you. If you see that it ain't shit with cameras, on some real shit, like, if you want to tag a motherfucker, it's a way to do it without, uh, it's a way to tag a motherfucker, and you got just enough time to get a few licks in before fucking security come. The fact that he went to unzipping his coat right there, that was, that was a sign that, oh, shit, if we wasn't on ready, we need to get ready. And, I mean, it was fucking that, and I'm keeping it all the way fucking 100 with you. If that shit was me, granted, I'm not a motorhead, but again, how I grew up and where I grew up, you don't touch another man's nothing shit. Like, even when I was having my vehicle back in the shop, and a mo and you know, again, we in the hood and shit, but a motherfucker felt like he could just sit the fuck on the hood of my damn car. And I was like, hey, cuz, get the fuck out of my car, man. What the fuck you doing? And it was, it was a young, it was a young, and you feel what I'm saying? A teenager, but it, again, hood mentality, but that was one of those where, yeah. Easy to catch fate, but you just sitting on my car. Just get, get the fuck on my car, dude. Okay. Just, nah, nah, nah. It's another thing to sit here and vandalize it, regardless if you can wipe the shit off or not. Man, that on some real shit. I would have sat there and had a revival and low key would have straight knocked the fuck out of out of my motherfucking self. You don't touch not damn thing that motherfucker going with me. And you think that shit's sweet? I bet. Alright, so it's about to wrap up. But all the girls sit down because uh, they read the uh, book. And pretty much from what I'm gathering, what Juju did is took situations that she knew of, dealing with relationships, and pretty much put a spin on it. Almost like what Sheree did with her book. And Yandy read it and read something that seemed uh, awkwardly familiar to her life. 
so she feels that she needs to sit here and bring it up to Juju and check Juju because she feels like you can't be right about my life and you don't fucking run about me first. I don't know what the fuck is they about to say, but what I will say is I ain't read the book. If it's out, I ain't gonna read the motherfucking book because I don't give two fuck because I, like I said, she's giving advice to women. Ain't shit I can really learn from. Well, I probably could, but you know, again, I'm a dude. But um, what I will say is in essence, she is kind of bringing it to you because you're getting the opportunity to fucking read it. Now, it's one thing if she just dropped a motherfucking book and don't sit here and say shit to no damn body and just drop the shit. Again, to, like I said, I ain't sitting here defending Juju by no fucking means, okay? But that's just from what I see. And, oh, and I mean, real talk, if that's what the fuck she's doing, I mean, that is some grimy ass shit. You feel what I'm saying? But we're going to see how, the, how this truly going to play out. Okay, so Juju pretty much tells her, like, this story was not about you. And from what we see, it was an isolated thing about somebody creating, you know, pretty much having a fake account, posting shit and whatnot. And, you know, uh, Kimbella and even J.A. was just like, shit, that was a lot of shit that I read. Just like, how the fuck you know about my life? And, I mean, you have a lot of fucking, you know, stories it's like that shit i know sometimes we listen to songs you be wanting how the fuck you know what i'm going through and it's just that now what i will say is no matter how good of friends they are this is one of those where if yandy felt some kind of way that's something where it's just like hey can i talk to you over here away from me? even if the camera said well, let me talk to you over here and she was accusing her and Kimbell, and you know when you like it ain't this ain't got shit to do with you you don't think bitch was all in that camera and all that so of course, that was turned up. So Yandy seeing that, okay, Frank and Escalade, and also real shit, I don't think Yandy wanted with Juju, and I think that's why she brought this shit all the way the fuck back down. She's like, I was asking a question, and Kimbella being messy, but being honest, no, you were accusing her, and Juju and Juju got pissed and left, because one of the ways, like, you've already disrespected me, and this your fucking second time. First time was bringing work to here, when, of course, this trip was truly just supposed to be, you know, the four of them, so you done brought another person who brought other people, so that right there is fucking up the tone, and then you come me sideways about a book that I'm passionate about, so Juju Piss, Juju Walk Off, now, based off the previews, it seems like there may have been something there, I don't know, but here we go with the whole Peter, and even though I only caught glimpses, I told y'all I ain't really gonna talk about it, but I'm gonna mention this, didn't Peter just sit here and have a, you know, Ruben Sutter saw her 2004, you know, speech going on at her birthday party, but now you want the other thing back with your wife? If they still married, because I don't fucking know, I really don't care. And then these two will have another woman to woman, Keisha Cole and fucking Ashanti motherfucking talk. Whatever. But that's all I got, you guys. And like I said, I mean, this how I, I put, you know, some palmet in trying to see if this look will be good for me to wear my uniform. I still got a few more pieces. Oh, shit, shit, fall. Okay, that was my little marriage, man. But, you know, just, you know, trying to sit here and putting that together. It's almost done. I'm about to put it together, hang the shit up, probably study for maybe like another hour, pretty much while this video is, you know, processing and uploading, and I'm about to black the fuck out. But you guys wish me good luck. Again, hopefully things turn out for the best. I hope, I hope, I hope. But that's it. That's all that I have. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys Wednesday for the uh, Little Women of Atlanta. Peace.